Printing payment summaries is very simple and pain-free with Xero. Before we start this process though, there's a little bit of housekeeping that we need to do. You need to ensure that your payroll is finished for the year and that there are no open pay runs. So navigate to payroll pay runs and check that all your payment uh, all your pay runs have been closed. You will note that there is currently one pay run open. If we select this, check that it's all okay, and post it, we will then be ready to check that all of our payroll is balancing for the financial year. I do recommend at this stage that you go to reports, all reports, and review the payroll reports, cross-referencing them with the profit and loss and balance sheet to ensure that your wages is balancing as you would expect. Once you're happy that everything is all in order, it is now time to produce your payment summaries. To do this, select the payroll drop-down menu and select employees. If any of your employees have uh, received fringe benefits or a lump sum payment, it's a good idea to collect this information as you will need to enter this manually. All of our current employees display on the screen. We can select the box next to first name and it will select all of the payrolls, all of the employees that, that have been paid in the year. Then select payment summaries. You will note that the legal trading name, ABN and postal address have been pre-populated. This information is gathered from the organisation settings in Xero. All you need to do is enter the name of your signatory and the appropriate phone number for any inquiries that may need to be made in relation to these payment summaries. Once you're happy that all of the information is complete, Click on Confirm and Continue. The Financial Year Ending box enables us to move between different financial years. As we need to complete the June 2016 payment summaries, we will select June 2016. On the right side of the screen, you will notice that the ATO online lodgement status displays as not filed. This is directly connected with the ATO and as the ATO process your payment summaries, if you choose to use the online service, it will adjust. Review the gross payments and the PAYG for your employee. Enter your reportable fringe benefits and any lump sum payments. Once you're happy that everything has been entered as is appropriate, Select all the employees and click on preview. I recommend that you do preview your payment summaries before you complete the process, as you may find that there are a few pieces of information about employees that may be incorrect, such as an, an employee's home address may not have been correctly updated. If this, is an, if this is the case, you can make the correction and step through the steps to resubmit the payment summaries. Once you're happy with everything, click on the blue Publish. You will note that the status displays a plus sign, which tells us that we have published the payment summaries on the 14th of June at 2.19pm. We can then send them to the employees. We can send them via email or we can generate a PDF for printing. We can also do both. Once they have been sent to the employees, we can now see that they have been sent to the employees and exactly when they were sent to the employees. The next step is to file them with the ATO. Now there are a couple of methods for us to do this. We can click on File Now and lodge them directly with the ATO or we can select 
the drop down menu, create an MDUP file, download it to our desktop, and then upload it via our business portal or our accountant can upload it to lodge it with the ATO. You can even load these MDUP files onto a disk and post them to the ATO. The quickest and most efficient way is to actually select the File Now button, which will move us to the ability to directly lodge it with the ATO. Now, we have a question here about whether we are the agent or not, because sometimes our bookkeeper or our accountant lodge our payment summaries on our behalf. If we are a business, we would say no. If we are the accountant, we would say yes. And it would request us as accountant to enter our accounting firm's details. In this case, I'm going to say no, as today I am the internal accountant within a business. I do not work for our tax accountant. I then click on OK. Uh, next to I, Angeline Breyer, have read and accept the authorization to file. And in a live situation, I would select this file now button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It would be brightly colored so I don't miss it. But because we are in a demonstration file, this ability has been disabled. I will now click on go back to move back to the processing of my payment summary. Once I've lodged with the ATO, I should actually see this uh, filing uh, icon uh, as bright blue. Because I was unable to complete the last step due to our demo file, it still remains clear. To show you what it will look like on successful lodgement, I can create my MGIP file. Again, I'm requested the similar question in regards to agents as previous, and then I can click on Create MDUP. You'll note that the file is downloaded, ready for me to send to the ATO. And you'll also note that the status has changed. The MDUP has been created. Once you've completed all of these steps, your payment summary have been finished. As the ATO work through the online lodgements, this not filed button will move through different stages so you'll be able to confirm that it has been filed with the ATO. I hope this video has been informative. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to give any of us in the Adrian's team a call to assist with your questions. Have a great day.